God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, August the 10th. Today's devotional is based on 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 5 to 12. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I should give you. And Solomon said, You have shown great and steadfast love to your servant, my father David, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart toward you, and you have kept for him this great and steadfast love, and have given him a son to sit on the throne today. And now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. Although I am only a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant is in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a great people, so numerous they cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil, for who can govern this your great people. It had pleased the Lord, that the Lord, the Lord that Solomon had asked this. God said to him, "Because you have asked this and have not asked for yourself long life or riches, or for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, I now do it according to your word. Indeed, I give you a wise and discerning mind." No one like you has been be before you, and no one like you shall arise after you. So today's devotional from the Daily Feast was written by Thomas Blair. Orienting ourselves according to our burdens makes responding to situations more difficult. Orienting ourselves according to our resources helps us take on situations creatively and positively. Of course, in order to bring out our best resources, we need to know both what they are and how appro to appropriate them for the use in any given situation. And Blair leaves us with this question to ponder today. How have you oriented yourself according to your burdens or according to your resources? Let us pray. O oh Lord my God, orient me to all that I am and all that I have so, that I may be one of your faithful leaders. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope that you join me again tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and if you're in public, wear a mask. It's just good community. God bless.